In this video, I am going to share with you how to start making money by repairing mobile phones. There's a lot of money involved in this business. This is an industry, an aspect of the economy that is not yet fully tapped. The potentials are infinite. You will make money. Quote me. Now, I know you don't know how to repair phones. I know. <laughs> I know. But I'll show you a place where you can learn for free how to repair phones. It is not difficult. You will learn it and I will guide you through how you can get started. The things that you need to get started today. Trust me, the industry is enormous. The market is enormous. The demand is far, far above the supply that exists in the market today. Sit back, relax, don't go nowhere. You will get valuable information from this video. Hey guys, welcome back. For those that know me already, my name is Victor Isibo. If you're a first timer, my name is Victor Isibo. You're welcome to the YouTube channel. Here we learn how to make money online and offline. If you love stuff like this, you're free to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Turn on the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any of my subsequent uploads. And to my returning subscribers and viewers, salute. Like in the military, it's a pleasure having you back on this YouTube channel. Now with the pleasantries out of the way, let us talk about mobile phones. How many mobile phones do you have? Leave it in the comment section below. How many do you have? Me? Okay. See, here is one. Here is another one. And I'm shooting this video with another one. I have three mobile phones that are working. And I have two bad ones that I intend to fix soon. Only me. Five. Okay? Only me. I have five mobile phones. Now, let's forget about that. 70% of the entire world population use a mobile phone. That's in excess of 5.7 billion people. Now, 70% of the entire population of Nigeria uses a mobile phone. Okay? The highest number of mobile phones in Africa is in Nigeria. Yes, because you see, Nigerians, you know, we like the flex. One person will have five mobile phones like me. Okay? So, when we talk about the percentage of people that have mobile phones we're not talking about the number of phones that the individual has uh -huh. we're just saying this man uses a mobile phone that man uses a mobile phone we can't take into cognizance the um, the number of phones that that individual has the lowest number of phones that the average nigerian owns is two lowest two okay now so you're you beginning to see that the numbers are increasing okay and when something is trending when something is trending, every other business, associated businesses with it, they will also trend. So the mobile phone market is booming because a lot of people are buying mobile phones. But these people, when they buy mobile phones, they will also buy mobile phone accessories, spares. Okay. Now, when they buy mobile phones, they will also buy airtime, bars, Anything that is associated with a moving product sells alongside that product. Now, if they are buying mobile phone accessories because they are buying mobile phones, and if they are buying airtime because they are buying mobile phones, definitely they will repair those phones when they have faults because these phones are expensive. You don't just throw a phone away because it developed a little fault. You want to fix it. Now, we are narrowing this video down to mobile phone repairers. Those guys are making money. Today alone, I paid a substantial amount of money for a phone repairer to fix my phone for me today. Okay? And trust me, when I got there, there were lots of people waiting for only that man. In major cities of Nigeria, in fact, they have a place, a market, mobile phone market, where you go for repairs, you go for purchase, you go to buy accessories in strategic points and locations in major cities. In Lagos, you have the almighty computer village. In my city, there is a mobile phone market. Okay? Now, where people go, they buy mobile phones and accessories. They have several markets like that. 
in different parts of the city where they gather and people patronize them on a daily basis. Now, the guy that is repairing phones, he doesn't have to go and do buying and selling. He has the expertise, the skill. He just does the manipulation and you pay him. Okay, it's not like the mobile phone accessory seller who bought at the price of one dollar and wants to sell for five dollars, making a four dollar profit. The phone repairer does not calculate all those things. Everything is profit. He has the skill already. He fixes your phone. You pay him for his workmanship, and boom, that's how it is. Okay, now how can you start repairing mobile phones? There is a website called ifixit.com. Okay. Their training models are very friendly and easy on the eye, okay? That time you spend on social media following up with celebrity gossips, it's a new year. Sit down and learn a valuable and profitable skill, mobile phone repairs. If somebody's mouthpiece is not bad, their earpiece is bad, the panel is bad, the screen is bad, something is always wrong with people's mobile phones at least once a year. And they have to fix it. Okay? So go on ifixit.com. Start learning how to repair mobile phones by yourself, free of charge, from the comfort of your home. Mobile phones are not the most complicated gadgets to repair. One single panel. Know the ropes and it's going to be like bird taking to water. You are going to master it if you learn very well. Okay? Now, there are tons of videos, tons and hours of videos here on YouTube where you can learn simple strategies to fix mobile phones. Yes, now you can binge watch on all those videos, take down notes, get a bad phone and start putting into practice the things that you learn. Okay, now if you can't do either of these two, go to the local phone repairer, ask for apprenticeship. Give them some money, you are going to learn very fast. Mobile phone repair is not like tailoring or hairdressing where you have to learn for a year or two years. If you're smart and you're tech savvy, in three months, you should be able to start repairing mobile phones by yourself. So the first thing you need to do to get into this business is get trained. And I've given you the resources that you need to get trained so that you can equip yourself with the requisite skill to start making money repairing mobile phones. Number two, of course, you need to get capital, okay? Very small capital because what you're going to be needing is a space, okay? Go to uh, populous areas, okay, to get a space. University campus, uh, phone markets, phone markets. Get a space in the phone market. It could be, all you need is just a table and a chair for starters, okay? You can even be under an umbrella, so the capital is little or nothing for you to get started in this business. So what are some of the tools that you'll be needing? Soldering iron, screwdrivers, LCD testers, battery booster, diode testing meter, cleaning brush, tweezers, magnifying lamps, adhesive tape, magnet, table, laptop. Laptop, yeah, for software uh, repairs, you know, the fault could either be hardware or software. So you need a laptop, you know, for software repairs, okay? Um, those are the things that you're going to be needing to start mobile phone repairs. Now, the laptop, you may not start with a laptop just yet, you know, considering uh, capital, financial restraints. You, you can start with hardware repairs first of all before you now delve into software repairs when you've made enough money to get a laptop if you cannot afford one okay so those are the things that you need to get started what are some of the faults you'll be fixing for people you know software issues charging port problems broken screen changing out the screen and stuff like that now another very important tip in this business is as you grow in the business, repairing phones, because most times you may need to be changing out parts. You'll be patronizing uh, phone part sellers. Start internalizing the money. Start selling those parts. Start selling those accessories. Start selling phones. Majority of the big guys that are doing phone repairs, you see them selling phones, phone accessories, and the parts. Okay? Because these parts are what they use on a daily basis. So take this tip and put it in your pocket. Very important. 
There is no business that doesn't have its own associated challenges. So what are some of the challenges um, phone repairers face on a daily basis? Um, I could bring my phone to you and ask you to fix the charging port. And whilst you're doing it, the phone drops and you crack my screen. We will go and have that conversation at the nearest police station. Yes. Mm. You will fix... Ah, <laughs> you don't know anything. You will fix my phone for me. Mm. You see? And another thing, another challenge you could face is, you know, sometimes you need to um, take some phones home. You know, people drop their phones. They're not picking them up today. And somehow, that phone gets stolen. Or where you're repairing phones with phones scattered all over your table, uh, your intending customers are there, they just pick one of the phones and they just run away. Theft is another challenge that you're going to be facing. And in Nigeria, also electricity. Because all these uh, tools that you need to work on your phone, they require electricity. So if there is no frequent power supply, you're going to be running your generator to make sure that you have adequate power supply. So what are my thoughts about this business? Let me count a punch. This business is awesome. It's mind-blowing. And you see these guys, on the average, I've interacted with many guys that do phone repairs. Many of them go home on a daily basis with at least 10,000 naira. On a daily basis, like at the very least. Because, you know, they charge you for their services. And even the parts that they... If you're changing out a part uh, as part of your phone repair... The parts that they are charging you for, they are adding their own money to it. Okay? Maybe the part seller says that, okay, the screen of your phone is 30,000. They will come and tell you it's 35,000. And you'll be like, okay, let me go and buy it. Then they'll threaten you if you go and buy it. And you buy the fake one that does not last. It's your own problem. Oh. You will not hold me responsible. I am the repairer. I know the best part. I know the best seller. So that I can give you warranty. Then you'll now be like, okay, go and buy it. It's a lie. The same place that you wanted to go is where he's going to go and buy it too. But it has threatened you. Uh -huh. So sometimes even if you're stubborn and you say you want to go by yourself, you will go by yourself, bring it to him. He will not fix it well so that there will be issue to justify himself and say, I told you, let me go and buy it. You know. So they buy this part. They make money from the parts. They make money from their expertise. And they make all this money. Okay, so this business is awesome. You can get started today. Go to ifixit.com. Go and be watching uh, videos about repairs here on YouTube. Go to the nearest local phone repairer shop around you. Pay for apprenticeship. Get started. The market, the demand is higher than the supply. Anything associated with phone. If you're looking for a business to do, you have money, start selling phone accessories. Many people, their phone chargers are bad. Some people, they buy phone cord once a week. Someone like me. Okay? So people have issues with their mobile phones on a daily basis. Some people's phone just shut down. Uh, there's a virus in there. You help them to format it with your laptop. You are making money. Okay? What are your thoughts about uh, phone repair, phone accessories business in Nigeria? Leave it in the comment section below. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't done so before. Share this video within your social media community. Thank you so much for watching this video. I remain Victor Isibo. Catch ya.